So hello, welcome to this episode of The Wolf Den, where we answer your questions, and by your questions, we mean only three of them. The three that ask questions. The three that ask questions. <laughs> right. Uh, question number one. Titanfall feels and plays like COD? Call, that's Call of Duty. That's an Oh, that's, I Call thought he was talking about fish. No. Sh that would be a very bad yeah. game. Should I renew my subscription to Xbox Live for Titanfall? I haven't played Xbox in over three to four months. Submitted well, Greg. By Greg. I uh, also just finished my Xbox Live subscription because I've been playing the PlayStation 4 uh, online. So I have no need for the Xbox Live subscription. Um, I don't want to renew it just for Titanfall, especially because I don't have an Xbox One. So I would be playing it on an Xbox 360. So... I'm not doing that. It's coming out for PC. I have a pretty damn good uh, gaming PC. If you have a PC, you don't need to renew your Xbox yeah. Live subscription. So I'll be playing on the Xbox One graphics, and I'll be playing online for free. So I'm I'm just gonna play it on the PC. Yeah. I don't recommend. I don't think it's gonna be worth uh, renewing your Xbox Live subscription if, if you're playing on Xbox 360 because that version is even made by a different company. Yeah. I mean, we don't know because nobody's played the Xbox 360 version and they haven't said whether or not it's good. Um, right. All the marketing is the Xbox One, everything you see, yeah. and PC. As far as I know, it doesn't play anything like Call of Duty. It it plays a little bit more like Mirror's Edge. It's a lot faster. It's a lot more well, team based. I heard the shooting's a lot like Call of Duty. Probably. I mean, the, I mean, the game plays a lot different yeah. because the, you're playing against. But I mean, the then online's it, against bots. Then again, like how many shooters like the shooting feels like Call of Duty, but everything else feels different. Call of Duty does shooting very well. It does it. Yes, it does it very well. But then you have other games to try and emulate that yeah, shooting nobody, in nobody some comes close. capacity. The reason why Titanfall comes close is because a lot of people that play, that yeah. worked on that worked on Call of Duty. Right. So, you say you haven't played with your Xbox in three or four months. Um, unless you're saving it for something else, I would say go for it. All right. There you go. So we, he says go for it. I say don't go for it. Uh, next question. George Clooney's portrayal of Batman, sent by our cousin Chrissy. I'm out! Next question. Okay. Uh, sent by Mike, because I made him ask a question. <laughs> Define and describe the top slash best video games that adapt comics and comic characters. For example, the classic Superman Shadows of the Apocalypse PS2 game. I'm I'm not, I don't remember that. I have not played that game. I heard it's not bad for a Superman game, because Superman games can be pretty atrocious. I don't remember that that game. It, it, was, it was based on the animated series. Oh, I remember that game. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't like the 64 one. No. No, nothing is as bad as the 64 one. Here's, here's the thing with, with superhero games. To me, the best superhero games are the ones that make you feel like the superhero. So, most of those games didn't come out until the PlayStation 2 era. So we're talking Spider-Man 2 for right. the PS2. That's a great I'll one. even lump in Ultimate Spider-Man for PS2. It's basically the same game, just one's a little more cartoon. Web of Shadows. Web of like Shadows, Web of Shadows. Yeah. Not uh, Shattered Dimensions or Edge of Time. Not those, yeah. No, not those. Um, Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Oh, you like that a lot. I love you that game. Yeah, because that. that game, you want to feel like the Hulk, that's the game to get. Because you just smash everything. Mm -hmm. And no stopping. So... Of course, um, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, probably the best superhero games right. ever. I'd also throw in uh, Transformers, War for Cybertron, and Fall of Cybertron. I would throw in Fall of Cybertron. Not War for Cybertron? War for Cybertron was the first one? Yeah. I would throw that one in. Fall of Cybertron? Yeah, you know, honestly, I've never played the other one. I didn't the, the, the other one's... It's good, but it's not as good. Mm. I don't know. So that's just me. You look back at like the 2D games that people generally... Think of like great superior games like Batman on NES, um, Death and Return of Superman. On yeah, that, that one was that one was good. I, I don't going back to it. It's not as good as yeah. I remember, but it's but, still pretty good. But the thing is, like, I wouldn't call the like list even list those anywhere near the best because like you don't feel like the superhero. 
there. I mean, Batman, you could swap out any random ninja and there's Ninja Gaiden. Right. You know? It's Death and Return of Superman or Maximum Carnage for that matter. They're, those are just Double Dragon in essence. Um, so, yeah. You, you say the best superhero games uh, are the ones that make you feel like a superhero. Yeah. I say the best superhero games are the ones where you can swap out the superhero and it's still a good game. If it was a random guy instead of Batman in the Arkham games, I don't think it would have been that great. I think I wouldn't have li- I wouldn't no. have liked it, and it wouldn't have been. Uh, I've, I think it would have been. I think Batman helped. The Batman helps everything. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, like there's a game coming out now. I can't remember the name of it, but the guy who actually made the swinging mechanic for Spider-Man Two on PS2 has a game coming out on the iPhone where it's just that. I haven't played it yet. That. I don't know if it's out yet, but I mean, if it's because that was the best part in Spider-Man Two. Yeah. So. There you go. Spider-Man Two, the one where you where you have to actually attach the web to something. Yeah. Pre- previously in the Spider-Man games, uh, you could just shoot webs into thin air and it would attach to something and yeah. then you just swing. And Spider-Man Two, the movie, right? The movie, yeah. Spider-Man Two, the movie, you had to actually the hit a building. Game. In the movie game, yeah. yeah, you actually had to hit a building. Yeah. And you swing. Like when you jump off the Empire State Building, you can't web sling until you get to like where other buildings are. Right. Oh, uh, I would include the Walking Dead game. It's not, yeah, it's not superhero, but yeah, definitely. Well, it's a comic book. Yeah. Did he say superhero? He said comics. Alright, Walking All right. Dead. Walking Dead, yeah. Wolf Among Us. Wolf Among Us. I haven't played that, but if it's anything like Walking Dead. I heard it's yeah. like exactly like that. Alright, there you go. <laughs> um, I don't know what else. Uh, comic Zone. Mm. That game is hard as balls, though. It's about comics. Yeah. <laughs> that game is ridiculously hard because you share the life meter with the page you're on right so like and you have to like punch the panels of the page to, to progress and that tips away at the life bar so if you only have a little bit of life you can't you can't you just can't do the yeah level. you have to it's one of those games where you have to lose life or else you can't. it's one of those games where you have to play with invincibility on <laughs> or that yeah oh here's um an interesting one marvel vs capcom oh yeah see that that doesn't make you feel like a superhero that just makes you feel like a Street Fighter character. Right. That just happens to also be Spider-Man. But it's awesome to but have... But it is awesome. Man. All of these Marvel superheroes... Yeah. ...fighting against random people like uh, Jill Valentine. Uh, City of Heroes. That's an MMO. Wouldn't play it. Yeah, I didn't play it. Keep going. Turn into DC Universe. Yeah. Isn't it the same people made it? No. Different people. No. Yeah. Oh, well. Same game. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to play DC Universe. I hear it's good. I, I, yeah. DC Universe. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and it's free on yes. PlayStation. X-Men the Arcade Game. Yes. Now, you can also throw in the Ninja Turtles arcade games with this as well. Although, in the X-Men, the arcade game, every time you use your mutant power, you lose a life. You lose, like, part of your health. Yes. That, that's stupid. Um, best X-Men game is Clone Wars for Genesis, because... That one's really good. You just... You don't take up anything using up your mutant power. So, yeah. I agree that being a superhero makes the game... But it, it, it enhances the game. Yeah. But I, I'm saying the best ones are where you can replace it, the characters with it, with random people and it's still a good game. Because what's important in a game is the gameplay. Well, alright. So you, they replaced, by that sense, they replaced the Hulk in Ultimate Destruction with some doofus in a hoodie for a Prototype. I heard Prototype was really good. I heard it wasn't that good. Right, the second one. second one I heard was atrocious. I heard the first one was pretty good. Uh, I heard it was as good as, as the Hulk. I heard it Because a lot of people said that the Hulk wasn't that good. Those people are idiots, and I never <laughs> want to meet them. The Punisher. Wow. Yeah. There is an uncensored, adults-only version of The Punisher on PC. If you could find that down, find that, I'd play that, because what they had to do, because The Punisher can torture people in this game, and they had to put it in black and white to avoid an adults-only rating. And... <laughs> Eventually, they just released it on PC in color and said, F it. <laughs> Watch the Punisher feed a guy to a shark or do, shove do glass in that. We have that on PS2. Alright. Yeah. I gotta show my friends. Yeah. There was also a great Punisher game called Max Payne. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is comic book games. That's basically a comic yeah, book game. That's got comic book panels every every Yeah, concert. even the Max Payne 3, they paneled it up like a comic book. That is it. I love. I saw somebody. <laughs> 
on uh, Max Payne 3 the other day. Uh, Max Payne 3 is awesome. People like, I don't get why people don't like Max Payne 3. Oh my god, it's like, great. Yeah, it's amazing. I might play that again. And then they made the Max Payne movie, and like, what were you thinking? <laughs> Just make the Punisher. <laughs> Wolverine. That's the best. That, that's a, not the best, but that's a really that's good one. That's one of the, yeah. The movie X-Men Origins Wolverine, the game, the, un, the uncaged edition, because that one you like can chop people in half. And I actually got that one for like $3. Yeah, at, that, at that one's good. Freedom Force. What the f*** <laughs> is that? Um, I, I, I know what this game is. I don't remember like what it is, though. Like how to play it. It was made, it, it was made by the people who made... Bioshock. I can't remember if it's like a X-Men Legends type game or uh, or what the hell it was. They said it's not an officially licensed game. Yeah, because it's not a... There's no real superhero. There's like... No, Captain America's not in it. That's what they mean. It's just like all knockoffs. So instead of Captain America, it'd be like Super Patriot or something. Alright, so... How do I even put... What system is it for? I think it's just for PC. What? How is it good? <laughs> I can't imagine this being any good. I, I remember when this game came out and like, it was a big deal. It's a tactical RPG. Ah. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's Baldur's Gate. <laughs> and games like that, yeah. No, too much. Alright. Let's look at what their worst are real quick. Batman Dark Tomorrow, man. Oh, I forgot about that, that game. game. That game. You, you want to talk about a game... Here's the thing with that game. If they had, if they even tried, <laughs> that could have been, that could have been Arkham Asylum's retarded cousin. That game is in my top three worst games I've ever played. Yeah. Did we beat that game? Oh my god. So, uh, you fight people because you're Batman, yeah. obviously. But uh, when you knock them out, they just lay on the ground and then they'll get back up. The way you have to prevent them from getting back up is you handcuff them. So every time you knock somebody out, you have to sit there and handcuff them. Also, at the end of the game, spoiler alert! <laughs> spoiler alert for a game that came out in 2003 that none of you care about. You have to you you have to fight Razor Al Ghul. Yeah. Raze. Ra Ra it's. Raz al Ghul is now acceptable. I believe the proper pronunciation is Raish al Ghul. Raz al Ghul. You fight <laughs> Raz al Ghul at the end, and uh, you, you beat him, and he goes, Nice try, Batman, but I'm still going to blow up the Earth. And then he blows up the Earth. And then you go, <laughs> What? Yeah. And then, you, and then you spawn back from the last save point, and then you're like, But I beat him. And then you go beat him again, and then he blows up the Earth again. And you're like, that, What? That game has four endings, depending on whether or not you die or succeed in the final battle. And whether or not you turn off a computer that the game doesn't tell you about or where it is, or because you got to be a detective. Yeah, you got to be your own Batman. That game, yeah, that game. But Batman, at least you know, he, he's got tools to assist him being a detective. This game's <laughs> right. got nothing for you. So that is the worst. Yeah, the worst comic book game that we. Well, no, I've played Superman sixty four. You know. I've played Superman 64 also. I'd put... I think it's a tough fight between Batman, Dark Tomorrow, and Superman 64. Even though we, I've never beat... I've never been so inclined well, that's, to beat that's Superman the, 64. I beat Batman, Dark that's, Tomorrow. That's the thing. Superman 64... Batman, Dark Tomorrow... Is, I think I was so mad. playable enough. Superman 64, even though I, through sheer force of willpower and determination... Beat the first level where you're flying through rings. You can't progress at all. I got relatively far. I I had to use cheat codes to get through every I single level. I might have used cheat yeah. codes. Like the <laughs> I don't like remember. Cheat. That's the thing. Like it, you can't progress in that game. There's no way to progress in that game at all. At all. All right. So, the question was the best. I think. Mm -hmm. So. We're going to go with a lot of the Spider-Man games. Uh, uh, Arkham. The Arkham, the Arkham, games. Arkham series. I'm going to say uh, Transformers. I'm going to say Injustice Gods Among Us just because that was fun. Uh, Walking Dead. Scott Pilgrim! Oh, Scott Pilgrim. Oh, that game was awesome. I forgot about Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, that's another... Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim's a good game. Yeah. 
Pilgrim. Scott that's Pilgrim. that's like a... Scott Pilgrim is a good everything. <laughs> it is. Uh, the reason why Mike asked this question is because he's a really big comic book fan. He's not a big gamer. To that, I say, just play some f***ing games. Yeah, bro. There's a, there's a lot of games that you would like. And a lot, lot of games now are have like the easiest of easy modes. Yeah. So you can basically put the controller down and beats the game yourself itself. So that about covers it. All right. Like if you like. Subscribe if you really like. Like us on Facebook, whether you like us or not. Yeah, just because. And then like all of our stuff on Facebook, because <laughs> if you don't do that, we don't show up in your feed. Yeah. Or subscribe to us. And we want to just infest your feed like... However you will see our videos. Yeah. Do that. Follow us on Twitter. I'm at Bob Wolf. I'm at Will Wolf, damn it. That's why my name's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good night. Week. Week. Night. Day. Wait, what do you mean that's not why they're mad? It's because a black guy's playing Johnny Storm? Oh boy. Now I am going to spoil the Last of Us main game. If you haven't played it, you're dumb and you're stupid and I hate you, but you should stop watching. You have been warned. And I'm giving you time to stop now. Because we're not whatever. seeing them tomorrow. <laughs> we're seeing them next week. Assuming that you liked, shared, and subscribed. <laughs> yeah.